Hey guys, good morning. Today's the day. We're going to start our online training sessions in the back. But I also uh, want to tell you guys about a little something that I noticed. Something, a common problem with these core metrics, fetal monitors. Something that's fixable. So let me show you. Maybe you guys can get ahead of the curve and start changing some of these out. Save you guys some money, all right? So what we have here is a core metrics NIBP pump. And this is by far one of the most common errors with the core metric system is this NIBP pump looks kind of like that. It's a roller pump, which means inside the head, there is an offset shaft and here, let's look at it from this side. There's an offset shaft and the offset shaft will weevil wobble this plate and the plate is connected to a bunch of diaphragms. And on the other side of the diaphragms is going to be some reed valves and those reed valves are going to open and close as each one of these little guys flip flops around. All right. So what is happening is this is a 12 volt DC motor and it's 12 volt. Uh, come on, focus brushed. So you can see the type of brushes that we have. We have finger brushes, which are just straight metal from the looks of it. And one side, you can see a healthy brush right there, or reasonably healthy. And then the other brush, you can see exactly what happens. Because of current, it burns the brushes out. And as these pumps get older, the uh, elasticity of these diaphragms is going to change, and it starts to feel a little gooey in there. There's no real lubrication. So the problem is, eventually, it's going to cause more wear on the motor, it's a limited lifespan motor anyway because it is a brushed motor so eventually it's going to burn out and normally you would just go and buy a whole new card right you don't have to this is a generic 12 volt seco or psycho uh, roller pump or rolling pump is what they call it let's see yeah they call it a rolling pump here you can see i have a six volt version this does not come out of the core metrics but I was comparing these two pumps and they're almost identical except one's six volt and one's 12 volt, which is the windings inside the motor. So take a look here. You can see, uh, you can find them all over eBay at 12, 12, $13 roundabout. I found a whole bunch of them. So you can order these pumps and you can get your units back up and running. Easy peasy, right? I know guys, it's not much, but the amount of these rolling pumps that I find out in the field, not just in core metrics, but in all other types of devices, they are a planned obsolescence type of item. It's a consumable because the fingers will wear out on those shafts eventually. And as the drag on the motor is increased, either because you know there's a leak and it's running way too many RPMs, or because the elasticity of those little diaphragms is creating more wear and tear on the motor, it's going to burn itself out. It's just guaranteed to happen. But you guys can see there are options for getting it fixed. Good luck, guys. And tune in tonight, 3 p.m. Central. We're going to be doing our electronics basics course here live stream.